Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. This is video number seven in my Chinese language series where I basically take my favorite terms um, and link them together with Ch contemporary Chinese society problems or things that people really talk a lot about here in China. And uh, it's very young and modern and fresh, so you might not find, or you will not find it in your Chinese uh, language book. And I think that's why it's so much fun, because you can study your serious Chinese in class, and then after school you can click on this video, and then you can learn a little bit more about Chinese society. But you also learn some Chinese, and you can use these terms to discuss with your Chinese friends. Anyways, let's get into this video, shall we? <laughs> okay, um, today's video, I'm looking down because I have a computer here, I hope that's okay, I wrote it down. Um, today's video, we're gonna talk about two terms again, two very interesting terms, because this is when dating in China. Of course, I'm a girl and I think the Chinese guys are kind of cute, you know, so I am always talking to my Chinese friends about the boys, of course, and the differences between the Western boys boys and the eastern boys <laughs> well usually it's china between uh, china versus the west because that's what we know what's going on oh my um, my trash bag is moving <laughs> anyways um yeah so the two terms we're gonna talk about today they relate to the beauty standards of the or like dating requirements of the boy and the girl that you want to date right so first the boy is called gao fu shui gao for tall fu for rich shui for handsome there we go so if you're not gao fu shui you're gonna have problems here um when Chinese people they ask me what are like the requirements like the beauty standards abroad or well in Denmark I the, the generalization is ma major it's like oh abroad and I'm like the world is really big but let me tell you in Denmark the beauty standard has nothing to do with how much money you have because we're very lucky we live in a welfare system right a welfare state so it's not really a thing um, and I try to explain to Chinese people that shy handsome is a very um, it's a personal opinion yeah, because some people think some people are handsome and some other people might not think that and then they think somebody else is handsome and I'm like, that's totally cool, there is one for everyone and uh, you choose whatever you want. So I try to explain that to them, but it's kind of difficult. Anyways, um, I found this on a website and uh, I thought it was really cool. I'm gonna put the link below as well, but this girl, she described it like this. Uh, the Gao Fu Shui, this guy is well muscled, has above average height, uh, chiseled, chiseled uh, features and a full head of hair. There we go. <laughs> he owns an apartment downtown and a nice car. And needless to say, parents are most concerned with the food, the rich part, of course. Um, yeah, so the rich part is not only the, the girl who is concerned, of course it's her parents too, because her parents paid for all of her education and everything and of course they hope that she's gonna have a great life and that they're not gonna die in hunger and poverty um, you know so it makes sense anyways then we have for the girl the girl is Bai Fu Mei this is kind of racist I would say Bai is for white do I have to say more? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry, guys. Um, Fool is rich and May is beautiful, right? So, yeah, if you're beautiful, you're a great person. It's nothing to do with uh, how smart you are, if you have a good uh, education, good degree, um, if you're independent. Mm, I'm kind of proud that I'm independent and smart and, um, yeah that I do stuff on my own and I have something to talk about but that's apparently not a thing here <laughs> um, so again it's from the same article and the girl she wrote the female equivalent, equivalent I don't know how to say that the counterpart of Mr. Perfect in China is young and slim 
Mm, yeah, I'm already out on that one. <laughs> With long legs, eh, um, beautiful features and a pale complexion. Well, I do look like a snowman right now. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, I don't really think I fit into this <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, so we have the Gao Fu Shui and uh, the Bai Fu Mei. Uh, these two uh, beauty standards and uh, dating uh, requirements for uh, in, in Chinese uh, dating life. Anyways, <laughs> um, remember these two because Chinese they use them a lot and you can discuss it with your friends. I really love to ask the Chinese, but what does it mean then? Like, she's so beautiful, but what if she's like super dumb? Or what if, you know, he's handsome, but he's a pain in the ass? Then would you want to stay with him then? Come on, that's just silly. Anyways, um... Different uh, people, different minds and thinking, uh, but it's very interesting to discuss. So, and a big thing here in Chinese society. So, remember those two words, uh, terms, write them down right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's okay. You do whatever you want to, whatever pleases you. Um, thank you guys for watching this uh, little video. Please subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling and give this one a thumbs up as well. Oh my god, I said it, I said it wrong. Give this video a... Please, sorry. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling. And have a nice day evening wherever you are in the world. Ling Ling is out. See you again soon and Zai Jian. Bye-bye.